I'm Barry Trammell and welcome to our series of Bedlam's Strangest Tales. Alfalfa Bill Murray was one of the most colorful Oklahomans of all time. He was a lawyer, a pioneer, a prominent figure in the formation of Oklahoma from territory to statehood. He was a racist and a conspiracy theorist. Alfalfa Bill also liked to run for governor. He ran in 1910, 1918, 1930, and 1938. Only in 1930 did he win it, but it was quite the administration. Alfalfa Bill loved to instigate. He declared martial law 30 times and called out the Oklahoma National Guard 47 times. When Alfalfa Bill tried to halt oil production to raise prices, he sent out the guard to sit on the wells. When controversy arose over Red River toll bridges, Alfalfa Bill used guardsmen to make faces at Texas officials across the river. Alfalfa Bill even threatened to invade the state of Texas. Not all of his ideas were kooky. And on November 23, 1933, Thanksgiving Day, Alfalfa Bill called out a Chickasha unit of the National Guard to take over ticket responsibilities for OU's home football game against Oklahoma A&M. Alfalfa Bill believed that Benny Owens' athletic department was misusing funds. Remember, he was a conspiracy theorist, so the guard took over ticket sales. Said the affable Owen, they just want to see if we're running things straight. The guard, then as now, is adept at many things. But ticket taking might not rank at the top of the list. Fans trying to get into OU Stadium were subject to long lines and delays. Many missed much of the first quarter of what became the Aggies' 13-0 victory in the final Stillwater season of legendary coach Pappy Waldorf. Two weeks later, the guard oversaw a financial audit of the game receipts and everything seemed normal. Benny Olin merely shrugged. Such was life with a governor like Alfalfa Bill Murray. 